Yeah, that's right. I've never actually played a full Persona game after all my friends rant and rave about Persona 4, Persona 4 Golden, and stuff like that. I've watched some people play here and there and gotten a grip of things. I understood what the series was, but I've never actually played one myself. They still kind of seemed really, like, obtuse and, like, whew, heavy and stuff. But since I had to make a before you buy about it on Game Ranks, I had no choice. I had to jump in headfirst to Persona 5, whether I liked it or not, whether I was afraid of it or not, and I was. I, I knew I was going to get overwhelmed, and Persona 5 it is very overwhelming. Uh, the good thing is, though, you need to know uh, with the Persona series, uh, but Persona 5, you can go into it not knowing anything about the previous games. It's a similar setup with some familiar themes and characters, but it's a completely fresh new tale. Your character from the outset is thrust into this world and is discovering things mostly as you are. And it's a lot of shit to discover because it's all really weird. I'm a fan of anime. You know, I wouldn't say I'm like an anime boy or anything. I watch some, I like some, I'm like a casual fan, but I do really like JRPGs. I played a shit ton of JRPGs in my life and that's kind of almost similar in a way, right? So I was like, screw it, I could handle Persona 5, no problem. And uh, honestly, just from the way the game is set up, I hated it. I hated it for the first like six or seven hours. And that sounds crazy. To a lot of people, they're, they're lost by then. You know, like screw it, no way. Uh, personally, I have the luxury to play a lot of the video game in my life. So I was okay with putting up with that because after those six or seven hours, once the game stops finally explaining systems to you because there is so much going on, once the game sets you on the path and basically the cycle and, and the, just the main general flow of the game, that's when things get really good. And that's when it clicked in my brain. I was like, oh, yeah, Persona games are really good. This is a really good game. Because Persona 5 is a lot of fun. It's kind of addictive in the way it's set up. So you're like a high school, an awkward high school teenager boy who has to go about his day-to-day -day life, going to school, going to get a part-time job to get money, uh, reading and studying at the library to level up, you know, working out. Things like that, while also dealing with the fact that you have to go into an alternate dimension and fight monsters and, and, and basically conquer the inner demons of people. And, and it, it sounds really stupid. And it is, it, it, but it's also cool. The way it's set up is like, it's weird because it's like tonally and writing wise and, and the actual themes, they're really, really serious. But the game is so cartoony and so ridiculous and over the top. There's talking cats, there's flying witch monsters, there's evil demon horses, uh, there's weird perverted sex things. But when you cut through all that quote unquote anime bullshit, what you get is a pretty interesting game that does do a lot of things and say a lot of things about people's personalities and like what it's like growing up and being a teenager but also dealing with all these other things. It's almost like a Spider-Man type of setup where Spider-Man's running around stressing about school but then he also has to save the world. This is a very similar thing and I think it works because of that but I think it also works because you get addicted to the cycle because the way the game works is like you have to do that high school daily life thing every day and there's a calendar and you have a schedule and every day progresses and oftentimes you're on a deadline to do a certain thing and it's stressful but it's fun and the way that works into essentially leveling up your character and grinding things out it just works for me mostly there's a lot of like life simulator type of things you could go dating you could do all these things which some of it i'm like okay whatever get 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 through this dialogue like shut up because i haven't completely fell in love with all the characters it's like 50 50 some i really like some i really don't i've been told and i've seen from what i've seen persona 4's characters are a bit stronger but there's some good ones here but the good thing about dealing with character interactions is even if you're not into it or you're not feeling a dialogue or, or the voice acting or whatever it, it, it behooves you to do it because it helps the actual RPG aspect and, and you get connections with people and that essentially gives you abilities when you're in this other zone. It's all about fighting and turn-based action and it's good. It's a good old turn-based JRPG and, and that's shit I like. As a big Final Fantasy fan and Chrono Trigger fan and stuff like that, I like this stuff. And Persona does it really, really well. The systems were cool, especially with the fact that you your magic attacks are essentially Personas. You summon these monsters that are inner representations of your psyche and your personalities. And those are like your magic attacks. And if you figure out weaknesses for enemies, you can use that to your advantage and knock down an enemy and stun them. And then you can chain those along and keep stunning enemies and then also handing off one turn to another guy on your team and then completely devastate people and when it works you feel badass and you love it and you feel like you're really figuring out the game but thankfully it's really challenging because people could do the same exact thing to you and completely uh, nail you and, and decimate you and thankfully the game is pretty challenging I kind of went into it thinking it would kind of be a cakewalk because it seems like it at first 
but it's challenging, and I like it. Uh, you know, battles seem quick, and I like that, but every once in a while you get a, a nasty, nasty one that wrecks you on your ass. There's a lot of game here. You're gonna be playing this game for like 100 hours, and that is insane. That is a huge commitment, but there's a lot to do. These dungeons are big. You don't just cruise through them. They're kind of like a, a grind. You have to slowly push your way through them, and that I really liked. Well, I didn't like the actual running around the dungeon and getting keys and stuff because the controls kind of feel all awkward and, and fuddly. I like the battle system a lot, and I really like the persona thing, and I also like collecting personas, and you can essentially cash them in to upgrade to better ones, and it, it's like a pocket monsters type of thing for many other JRPG games, and, and that I totally, totally dug. Not to mention the game is so stylish, though. A lot of people have talked about this, but just pausing the game and equipping an item or, or lo looking at the stats of your character or changing the options is like this crazy, ridiculous, in-your-face anime fucking thing. It's complete nonsense. Honestly, for a lot of it, it's really busy when you're walking around Tokyo and there's fucking things popping in your face every five seconds. It's a bit much, but it looks cool and it just makes the game feel so unique and, and different. You know, it's very distinct. And not only that, the music. I, I kind of think the game graphically, besides the animated cutscenes, which I absolutely love, I think honestly the game kind of looks like butt a little bit. It is because it's also a PS3 game. You know, with the visuals and stuff, what saves it is, like I said, the fact that the interfaces and all the graphic design stuff is so amazing, but also because the music is really good. Sometimes, it can get a little grating here and there, but the majority of it is really freaking cool, and there's so much different stuff about it. There's like butt rock, there's like weird hip hop beats, there's lots of like weird jazz and cool stuff, and it's unexpected, and it's it just makes the game feel a little different and quirky, and also very, 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 very Japanese. But that's why I like digging into these games, because you get a little bit more of a feel for how Japanese things are. The way they talk about certain subjects is very different than someone in North America, you know? And the way they tackle some, like, complex themes like rape and abuse and stuff, uh, they do it with, like, fighting monsters in a magical world. And you know what? Awesome. Some people are really, really gripped by the story and really brought in by the Persona stories. And while I thought it was good enough to keep me going, I really just, I really like the battle system. I really like the gameplay systems. I really like the whole everyday, weekly cycle thing. I liked all that a lot. And that's why I want to keep playing, but I do want to echo uh, one sentiment that uh, a couple of other, I think Jim Sterling brought it up. He kind of got a lot of shit for it, but I, I completely agree with him and a couple of other people that say this. And that is that Persona 5... I would, I would love it to be a mobile game, dude. If it was a Vita game, that would be so great. Because the game is, the game asks so much of you. So much reading, so much listening, so much watching, so much grinding, so much playing. It's 100 hours. And a, a game like this, I would like to ha be able to play on the go sometimes on a Vita. Maybe even a Switch. Never gonna happen. But Persona 4 Golden was a huge hit and worked perfectly on the Vita, so I guess there is hope. And I don't say that about every game that's huge and long. Like, a game like Skyrim, I do want to play at home on the couch or in front of a computer. But Persona and games like this, which is a lot of text and, and JRPG turn-based style battle stuff, I think just lends itself to mobile, and I would have loved it even more if I could play it on there. I don't think that's the most unreasonable thing I've ever said, right? But I, I do like Persona. I think it is weird. I think it is such a weird game. And I've, I've seen some weird games, and, and I've seen some weird shit in my life. But Persona is bizarre, but it's a lot of good-ass RPG gameplay if you're into that. I, I think you should check it out. I think you should. There's a lot of different elements in it that you might like. You might really like the story. You might really like the whole high school life simulator drama anime thing because it can get a little addictive. You could also like the battling. You could also just like how the game looks and sounds and you want to play it. You know, there's a million things in this game that some person can find and latch onto because in a way, it's a very scary game. When someone tells you what Persona is or describes it to you at face value, it sounds like, whoa, holy shit, what? Really? That's You play that? That's that's what you play? That's what you enjoy? But yes, when it all comes together and when you're playing it in your hands, it's pretty damn cool. I will say that. So I guess thanks to a lot of you guys out there who have been telling me for years to finally pay attention and go full in and fully play a Persona game because... I, I've been missing out. It's pretty damn good shit. I've been pulling old nighters playing this game and that's not gonna stop anytime soon, especially because now I am gonna go back to play Persona 4 because now I'm into it, I'm curious. But if you have been playing Persona 5, especially as like a hardcore fan, let me know what you think. But if you're like me and you're, you're a newcomer, I also really wanna hear what you think, whether you're just on the outside looking in or if you did pick it up, uh, what are you thinking so far? I think this game is really good with some interesting things and it almost, it's almost like iconic. It's not one of my favorite games ever. I'm not head over heels in love with it, but I really, really like it. So I wanna know how you guys are feeling whether you've played it or not let me know what you think about the game thank you guys so much for coming around though and listening to me ramble about video games over here at my desk alone in a room because that every because everybody goes home and then i just talk to you guys here but you guys might know by now this is the little channel that could so if you do click the like button i appreciate that because that does help me out in a little way but as always i'm jake baldino and you can subscribe because video games